a live look in uptown in Minneapolis. So people are gathering to remember the woman who was killed when a vehicle crashed into a group of protesters over the weekend. Thanks for watching WCCO and CBSN Minnesota. Frank is off this evening. We are learning more about last night's incident. It happened at Lake Street and Girard Avenue, where a group was protesting the recent police killing of Winston Smith. Authorities say that one person was killed, three others hurt when a vehicle crashed into the crowd. Garrett Kanidik says that the woman who was killed was his sister, Diana. He is still piecing together what happened as he mourns his sister's life, which he says was devoted to others. Caroline Cummings shares that story. She was trying to do something better for the world. And, you know, she's always been one to risk everything she's ever for everybody. Mm -hmm. And this proves it. Garrett Kanidik remembers his sister Deanna as resilient, having overcome challenges of her own and helping others along the way. Of all the people I know, she has been through probably more than anybody and still continues to smile every single day, no matter how dark it was. Deanna, the victim, killed when a driver hit a group of protesters in Uptown late Sunday night. At least three others are injured. They were there protesting the death of Winston Smith, a black man killed by a federal task force a week and a half ago. Kinetic told WCCO he saw witness video that shows the driver hitting his sister's car that was blocking the street, which then hit protesters. Authorities declined to comment, citing an ongoing investigation. She's such a wonderful person. She's had struggles and hard times, and she's always pulled out of it, and she's always brought somebody back with her and brought them up and showed them the light of the world. And you know, every aspect she's ever done has been towards that. Kinetic says Deanna worked with people battling mental illness and addiction. The Cottages Group, which provides residential services to vulnerable adults, identified Deanna as their employee. It posted on Facebook Monday, remembering her as, quote, one of the most selfless people we have had the pleasure of knowing. I'd love for her to be remembered and seen how she truly was. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. An Instagram video shot by protesters shows a man being pulled from the SUV and held by protesters until officers arrived to take him into custody. Police are not releasing the driver's name, citing investigative purposes. But jail records show that a 35-year-old St. Paul man was jailed early this morning on suspicion of criminal vehicle homicide and driving after cancellation. That individual does not have a valid license after multiple DUI offenses. It is not clear at this time if there is a motive.